Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Saifa. Today I'm here in Canterbury and here I'm going to be doing punting for 45 minutes. So let's get this punting party started. So I thought we were going to be waiting for our little cup of yogurt. Have I just turned on? Yeah. So right now we are starting the number three. Which dog? Here. Safety and being really boring. <laughs> First thing, you're going to hear this happen quite a lot on tour. Please don't be alarmed. Porn! That is not me for tongue, so it really hurts to get your fingers caught between the boat and a brick wall. So keep it down. These are the highest bridges on the tour. You'll get now, as you can see, just up ahead of us, there is a very small tunnel we're going to pass through, so I'm going to sound like a broken record, just make sure you keep your arms inside the boat. I am breathtakingly good at my job, and sometimes I will bump into the Sainsbury's main exports. The boat would float downstream just like we're doing now. It would then stop very mouthful of the tunnel. And you should see some black steel arches. A wooden trap door would then open above the boat. And some poor, sweaty, underpaid worker. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't have anything nice to say about this building. This version of the theatre was constructed in 2011. This design cost us, the Canterbury taxpayer, 26 years. If you've been to London at all, you've got a black fire station, which should sound familiar. That okay, station is named after the Now they travelled all the way from Barcelona to Perth. When they got here, they were meeting with our king at the time. This was King Henry III. Please do bear in mind. were reserved for nobility. So we were very confused by such expensive Does everyone here heard of the Spanish Inquisition? Now admittedly, that was one of the ways that the water was going to be made. The other way, odd shepherd name, I'm not sure if you've noticed while you've been here in Canterbury, but we do have a locally produced ale, which is called Bishop's Finger. The reason it's called Bishop's Finger is because you have to remember. Very quickly, folks, these two buildings here, they're not actually used by the monks anymore. Here in England, what was called the Dissolution of course, when he was here, it would have been the original. I'm going to try my best not to comment on the theatre. I should go about saying that Marlow Theatre is named after the Bristol. Bristol is actually the form of the idea of the Canterbury School. You can see on the front here, it's actually bolted in place by the there's a way that you can tell this is not a genuine tube building. Right? 
Do we all agree this building here is black and white? Yes. 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 The Tudor buildings were not black and white. It's a myth. The Tudor buildings were white and ox blood brown, which is a type of paint that is made with the blood of oxen. Rot with mould, you just deal with a layer of rust on the outside of your house. And rust is a lot easier to deal with than rot. Of course, this was Tudor England, so they also didn't have tetanus vaccinations, so rust would have still been a bit of an issue. Ooh, just up here on the side. You'll notice the beams, they are made of lumber, they're not made of steel, and the building is not black and white. There's one thing you take away from this tour. Let it be that. Tudor buildings were white and black. Now the reason that people seem to think they were black and white is because when people would first take photos of Tudor buildings to put in textbooks, what colour do you think those photos were taken in? Black and white, yes. Oi! I believe it's called Murphy's Law, where the most obvious explanation is the correct explanation. We are going to be coming to the hardest stretch of the river very shortly, so I do apologise if I suddenly stop talking and I just start grunting and sweating and cursing out Yahweh horses. No? In that case, you can all live in a Tudor house. The insulation in those homes is a mixture of clay and horse hair. I only found that out when I was trying to redecorate my room. Something to think about nowadays. I think it's quite nice though. It shows the earliest British attitudes towards spiritualism. Not so much a life after death, more so the idea of the soul being energy. You can't destroy energy, you can only move it and keep it around. Now folks, as we can see, even my colleague up ahead of us is struggling a little bit as well. We had quite a lot of rainfall this morning and unfortunately for us, if the rainfall is heavy whatsoever, this is where we start to notice it quite badly. Hit the bell icon to be notified to see beautiful videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. And you guys really should become the kind of very fun thing. Our company is such a beautiful one.